Welcome into the second carrier update of the morning presented by Uptake. I'm Tony Mulvey, joined by Donnie Gilbert. Donnie, you're going to break it down. We talked about the overall outbound sender volume index and rejection index. Yeah. So bringing up here, I've got our uh, dry van outbound tender volumes here in blue. And in red here, i got our rejection rates for dry van. Uh, as you see here, it's been a, a pretty constant downward slide yep. since the 1st of July, 4th of July. 4th of July is only the peak of the summer season here. Yep. Uh, and so here, down, 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 down. We're still down at 85.13. We're still, there's plenty of freight out in the dry van sector. The problem with the freight that's out there is there's no real, I mean, there is some time sensitive, but it's not overloaded with time sensitive freight that would normally go to the spot market and push those rates up and have people, right now they're willing to wait and pay the regular prices or allow prices to drop. So that's why we see here in red, we see the rejection rates, they just keep tumbling and falling. and. Uh, as, as spot market rates drop, more carriers fall back into compliance and they're willing, they're better to run the, the uh, contracted freight because yep. those rates are so much higher. And they got the fuel surcharge that helps okay. them out with a $5 uh, a gallon diesel right now. So uh, a lot of softening happening in the drive in market. We better see this turn around, Tony, or it's really going to affect that fourth quarter uh, rush and blitz. Uh, yeah, we'll still see a peak but it may not be a very healthy one that everybody would hope for. I think everybody kind of sees the light at the end of the tunnel right now if they haven't turned it off due to power savings. Yep. Uh, but it's 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 not looking very great right now. <clears throat> Let's pop over to Reefer here right quick. A little bit more of a positive note here. Uh, Reefer here starting to pick back up. We kind of looked at this about a month ago and said, hey, check August 15th and see if it starts to pick up. And the reason we said that is just looking at basic trends in our seasonality for rejection rates. We saw it start picking back about mid, uh, about mid August. So here we've got re uh, volumes in blue here starting to pick back up and we got rejection rates. Now they're only 6.84%, but this is exciting yeah. because they were extremely low. They, they hit historical lows that we haven't seen in years. Yep. Uh, so to see that start to pick back up, we hope this continues over the rest of the month. Next chart here, uh, flatbed. Uh, now we don't have a, you know, a lot of data on flatbed, but we do have rejection rates. Uh, you see it trending down here where we are right here in the blue, the darker blue right here today. Uh, but if you look at some of these, the green here from 2020, 2021 and the light blue, you see a little bit of a pickup over the next few months, slightly. So keep an eye on flatbed and hopefully it'll start to turn around just a little bit and start to pick up. Absolutely. You made Anthony smile over there talking about flatbed. <laughs> but we'll be sure to check in with you again a little later. Right now, we'll toss it back over to Kaylee and Anthony.